I remember walking into work and I was talking to someone. I'm like, this really sucks. I don't want to be here. And he's like, you know what? You only live once. Why are you doing this? Like, You're right. I've seen karaoke there. I've seen belly dancing there. Burlesque, yeah. Burlesque, yeah. Metal. People would walk by and see, you know, a 10-piece circus band, and we were all in full clown makeup, and, you know, like, it just looked like a giant freak show. Here's the space. You know, do with it what you want. Make it awesome. I mean, when I was younger, I, there's certain things that I was afraid to do. I just, like, you know, I was freaked out by it. Like, oh, maybe I'll fuck up. And then I decided, like, after the point, what am I doing with my life if I don't? Let's just, let's just fail. Let's embrace failure. Let's just try to just do whatever you want to do. And as long as you're not screwing anybody else, if you fall flat on your face, that's fine. Just, and once you embrace failure, it's like, shit, now I have a club and I'm a DJ on a regular radio station because I tried. <laughs> Finding the right like-minded people that would even be interested in your music. It's less about competition and like, fuck you, I'm doing my thing, and more about like, mm, we're all going to do this together. We host international touring acts, but you know, you can also play your first show here. That's, that's rad. has its whole bug up its butt about we're a world-class city and we're the birthplace of Nirvana and grunge and we're a music city and all this stuff. You know, but they don't do the work to ensure that the ground floor of that edifice that they want people to see is solid. Yeah.